Welcome back to the band guide. I'm your band guy, Colin. And this is another video in the five minute garage band expert series where I'm bringing you 30 tips and tricks for mixing and recording in garage band in 30 days. This video is about the deesser. The deesser is not just a hilariously named plugin. It's also a very powerful plugin that can really help you get a professional sounding vocal. The deesser is doing just that. It is helping you DS your signal. So an S is very sibilant and a DS allows you to kind of cut down on that sibilance. The sibilance is like a harsh frequency that happens around S's and T's and other sounds of that nature. And the deesser is somewhere between an EQ and a compressor that lets you target those frequencies that are common to only hit in a vocal around uh, an S or a T or anything of that nature, something very sibilant, and reduce right around those frequencies in particular, only when they're happening. So if you put a de at the start of your vocal chain, it will tame the S's or T's or any other sibilant sound and let them sound more natural. And then you can add brightness to your vocal if you want anything you want that will sound good on everything else in the vocal. So the example I have here for us today, we've already mixed this whole song. And when I was listening back to it, I realized that vocal, just the T's and S's still are a little bit too harsh. We've said an EQ that sounds great on the vocal 99% of the time, but anytime he's hitting an S or a T, it's just a little bit too harsh. Let's listen to what I mean. I'm not here to save you, and you don't need to explain. I'm so every time he's hitting one of those, it's really harsh, right? Let me show you on the master track. You can actually see it on this master EQ here. So let's pull up this master EQ and look in this range right up here. I'm not here to save you. And you don't need to explain. See how it really pops up every time he's hitting one of those S's or T's? Now, it's going to do that a little bit no matter what. We Those frequencies, those notes have, or those sounds have a lot of those frequencies. And so we're not trying to cut them completely out, but we want to tame them so it's not quite that much of a jump every time he hits one of those. So that's where the de is going to come in. So we're going to go back to our vocal channel here, and we're just going to go and find under Dynamics the de -esser. And it's gonna start with these default settings. Now let's solo the vocal, and I'm gonna set this to suppression. So this is just saying that uh, it's gonna dip down 20 decibels every time uh, something around this frequency goes beyond a threshold. So this is how it's kind of between an EQ and a compressor. Let's listen to what this is doing to this vocal. I'm not here to save you, and you don't need to explain. You hear they basically just disappear every time he hits one of those uh, S's or T's. Let's set this kind of how we want it, like the frequency that we think this needs to be. I'm not here to save you, and you don't need to explain. I'm not here to save you, and you don't need to explain. So somewhere right around there, it's really dipping that out. So this is a great way to set it. Set your suppression really extreme. Find the frequency where it's really cutting out that the S and that T. And then let's scale it all the way back and let's bring it down until it sounds really natural on that vocal line. I'm not here to save you, and you don't need to explain. I'm not here to save you, and you don't need to explain. So now it, it just kind of blends together. It doesn't really jump out at you every time he hits one of those S's or T's. Let's listen to it in the mix. I'm not here to save you, and you don't need to explain. I'm not here to save you. Sounds a lot more natural, right? Now let's look at what this is doing on the master EQ. Don't push me away, girl. I'm not here to save you. And you don't need to explain. So you still see it popping up there, but before we were hitting up around this negative 15, negative 20, and now we're staying way lower on that negative 25 or so. So it's not jumping out at you nearly as much. So if you're noticing a lot of sibilance in your vocal recording, try out a de -esser. It might be just the thing to help you get a professional vocal sound. If you haven't already, be sure to grab my six step checklist to a pro mix in GarageBand. And if this video is helpful for you, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video.